Welcome, lovely people. Once again, to focus on IVA, we are in conversation with Mr. Pratish Vijay, founder, CEO of PyCon. And let's, you know, that uh, we have studied together in school, and uh, there is a lot that we know about each other. But I'll let Pratish talk about himself and introduce himself and, and his journey as well. Well, thank you so much, uh, Ravi. Um, it's it's uh, honestly an honor uh, to be in this show. Especially, you know, this is a very different show where one of my colleagues, you know, uh, very close colleagues and uh, schoolmates, is taking their interviews. It's not the uh, usual stuff. So uh, I'm really excited. I was always excited. We have been talking about this video for a long time, and I think the second wave finally prompted us to get back in touch. <laughs> so, but you know, as we are better late than never. Absolutely. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, thank you so much, Ravi, for having me here. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, so uh, uh, for the audience, our history, me and Ravi, goes back to our school days, as we just, you know, Ravi and me just mentioned. A uh, 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 lot of stories, a lot of beautiful memories, and uh, we ventured into different journeys. Ravi went on to pursue his. I went on to pursue mine, and I started working. I mean, I, I went on to after my schooling, I went on to like an average Indian. Child, I went on to pursue some kind of engineering, you know, uh, uh, specifically some kind of engineering, and uh, I just you know that that's the norm, you know. If you're not into engineering, you may not get a girl or a dowry. I'm sorry, I'm using that word. I don't take that, but that's a big deal in India, probably. But uh, uh, yeah, uh, so engineering is a big deal. So we, uh, I ventured out, and then I figured out later on that it's not really my cup of tea. You know, I cannot. Really sit in front of a computer and code the whole day. I figured out as as I progressed and and then uh, yeah, engineering just went on and I joined the company. Fortunately, uh, which was into IT and ITS services, and then I worked there for some time. Probably in a year, uh, I went on to uh, pilot a, a new project and and become a, a, a QA person handling the quality part. And uh, eventually, uh, there were some more stories where I wasn't too happy with how things were going, and I kind of calculated as to where I will be financially as well as career-wise uh, uh -huh. ten years down the line. And uh, and I figured that I may not be reaching anywhere, so I decided that I need to take a plunge. And uh, uh, that's when I decided that whatever I learned so far, let me put together and create something new and something fresh. Something which is more relevant to the market. Awesome. So obviously, we uh, in two thousand six, I uh, resigned from my job in Bangalore and went back to Kerala and started off my company along with uh, a couple of my friends, few of my friends. So initial six months, let me be honest, uh, it was nothing much but uh, online gaming that kept us busy. <laughs> we, were, we, were, we were just. Uh, we we had a, a networked we had networked computers and obviously we were trying to pro for projects software and it and and what not uh, to start off things and uh, slow start but probably another 6 months we met a lot of people and we uh, some of them gave us good advice good advices some of them ridiculed us some of them mm -hmm. Uh, you know, all, all, everything happened and, and we picked up a few bits and pieces and we placed it there and the puzzle somehow cracked and we got our first project uh, that was in 2006 uh, you know after six months of starting the company you know uh, just a very humble beginning we started in a two-story house to be honest um, I was staying on the first floor and the, sec uh, the ground floor was the office wow. so we just set up our uh, uh, four or five computers and uh, uh, the a lot of attention was given to the conference room because it is a conference room. Right. But uh, to be honest, that was never used. <laughs> it was just, you know, we just felt that we need to have that one for the feel factor. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was just a dining table from one of my friend's place where we put a proper glass table, proper tablecloths, and nobody ever made out that it's not a, 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 a conference table, to be honest, you know. So that's how we started out, but uh, the first project uh, really got some seriousness, and it was a testing software testing. We mm -hmm. did a lot of you know usability and functionality testing and blah blah, a lot of stuff. I don't want to get into too, too much technical stuff, but that's how we started out, and 
small projects here and there lo- domestic international references right. uh, you know right. friends uncles aunties we we tried we tap every door possible and uh, probably by 2008 like two two years went by you know that was a struggle period real struggle period where we were just taking anything and everything uh, just to keep surviving and afloat and uh, make sure that you know we make make meet our you know right i mean at this point pradesh there are two very important question that comes to my mind yeah. one is i mean i'm i'm sure anybody listening will also have this these two questions one is that you're already working and i mean you have something coming at the end of the month every month and that's kind of stability and then dumping all of that and i'm specifically using dumping because i get scared when i have to think of it so we just leave everything and then plunge into starting off something our own how yeah. do you get that courage wasn't too difficult or wasn't too uh, easy also i would say because uh, to be honest there were many people uh, when i was in dhanbad in nobly uh, and after that also a lot of people told me hey, you know what let's do this let's do that lot of ideas so i told uh, i had this block in my mind you know i w- really want whoever is trying to get into entrepreneurship this is what i had initially that i had a lot of block that yaar i am not from a business family you know i don't have a business right. background and uh, i may not really do well there right. i may i'm rather uh, better off doing some uh, in a job that's what i initially thought of but circumstances situations i worked and to be honest when i worked in the corporate sector i figured out a lot of uh, politics dirty <laughs> or, or good or whatever you know yeah, as we the all corporate do. corporate stuff yeah exactly and then i figured that you know what i can actually do some stuff which can make some difference and uh, i am not being rewarded or okay. even acknowledged for that matter but i sticked on for that company and uh, maybe a one hour, one year two two years i tried my level best but then i st- no certain promotions were due did not happen and uh, the managers have story to sell you know they they had a lot of stories that's right. okay they had right. their own stuff going on so I decided to move on. That's you know, like I, I lost interest in in working per se. That okay, this is not going to get me here. We'll let, but yeah, not working. I tried a couple of other companies. I got in WNS. I got into Reliance. So a lot of jumping around I did. To but eventually, what I figured out is it's all the same. You know, uh, uh, I don't want to sound negative out here. Not every manager or not every but uh, everywhere is the same situation. But I wasn't too happy with what I was, you know, uh, offered or what I could see. You know, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I I wouldn't say that you're sounding negative or anything, but because the <laughs> timeline that you're talking about, right, two thousand four, two thousand five, I mean, India was also kind of mature maturing in that uh, area of the management layer, and uh, coming from all the factories management, Tatas and Birlas and all that. Who mentality was always there in people. Oh yeah, and you yeah. bring that into IT and ITS. Uh, let's get them do the work right and who at yeah. that attitude was there and i think it has slowly uh, seen its curve people have changed a bit now and obviously we have seen the worst part so we are trying to make it better for the folks that we work with so yeah. definitely a curve is there and and uh, i'm i have been blessed with uh, some kind of uh, luck that thankfully i've had good managers and bosses who have i have worked with and probably that could be one reason i'm still still stuck with a corporate job and not plunged into it so uh, pratish the second question that i had uh, right. from the first point was now you got your courage you you experienced things didn't go well and you thought let me start my own yeah. and as you've said for 6 months it's a dry period then it took about 2 years to kind of get everything settled down yep. you must have had plans right i mean you financially you would have planned at least all three of you who were the founders you guys uh, would have planned how will you sustain the next 1 year 12 months things like that how to get that opex or kharcha kaise nikalenge right that's the thing yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Very, very important. There a very uh, 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 critical question. Uh, uh, the again, the answers differ from person to person. Now, uh, uh, from any entrepreneur to entrepreneur, they have different stories. So my story is like, uh, 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 what would I say? You know, uh, 
see uh, raising funds we 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 did not have major plans to be honest ravi uh, we knew that uh, uh, we wanted to do something different and even if not different can we do better you know that was one of our thing ki abhi kya ho raha hai what can we do better so that we can survive yeah, yeah. and uh, yep uh, there are uh, uh, it, when you get into entrepreneurship usually there are three f's you know three f's which like one one uh, friends families and fools so you you tap everyone you know for your venture okay. so people some people believe some do not that's okay uh, uh, so in my case uh, i actually uh, no was i mean i i was lucky enough that i did not i had the job backing where i could raise some loan to be honest personally on, mm-hmm. on a personal okay. basis rather than uh, uh, getting out to my parents and you know uh, uh, initially i did not go to my parents i told them and that's an important part as you know in our culture so uh, they were definitely not so okay with me quitting a full time job and getting into something where i don't even know what's going to happen next so it was scary they were like kya kar rahe ho kya scene hai you did engineering and and what are you going to do True. well uh, it's just that you know i i seriously did not plan a lot i just believe that in order to learn swimming you need to jump into the pool you just cannot stand or sit in the sidelines and uh, figure out the moves or when i jump i'll do yeah. this and that you jump and you will survive you will make sure that you won't sink that's what i personally believe i took the jump i took the plunge and i survived uh, you know and and uh, uh, not so easy i did not have great uh, mentors and you know a bunch of mentors helping me out with projects but there were people who gave us tips and and that too because we see you need to seek out help nobody is yeah. coming with help to, you know to you yes. so you need to seek out you need to seek uh, the answers uh, what do i what am i doing wrong what can i do better all that stuff that's what it is you know uh, initially uh, there was not a m- lot of capital but i raised some fund with whatever ex- you know work experience i had and that's how i started later on i did raise mother fund but i'll come to that but yeah while starting i took some loans others took some loans okay. from their uh, parents some took the loans from friends it just depends on everybody's situation different people come from different situation yeah right i think i i read it somewhere unless you ask you don't get it and okay. you've quoted it as an entrepreneur that you got to seek for help unless you seek help nobody's coming your way knocking your door hey i want to help you that's not going to happen right Never. so that's an amazing suggestion for anyone starting up so excellent now always now that india has gone into this startup mode since past 5 years we've seen a lot of startup coming out and everybody is a st- startup owner every second person is a founder so and you started in 2006 i guess right, right yeah. that time india was not into startups and uh, you started venturing into it so you did your uh, hard work and still when when we talk about starting up the first thing that comes to our mind is selling so what are your top 3 suggestions for anyone who wants to start up now like even though there is boom people need to sell their idea so what are what are the three key areas that you would like them to work on hey again a very important and a good question you know which is you know uh, you cannot avoid it but again it starts the uh, idea can be anything idea can be a product like a facebook or a google or 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 a linkedin maybe or yeah. maybe just just another candy store or maybe just another pawn yeah. shop you know sure. you don't you know idea can be anything you know it ne- need not be the next week it's facebook as far as uh, as far as you are solving a pain point for the humanity you know that's a bigger word humanity <laughs> but you know logo ke liye you know what if you are putting across something that's making things convenient for them hmm. or solving some kind of a pain point then that idea is going to sell is that's the basic funda i would say it again you know depends you need to uh, research have your research uh, uh, now again i wouldn't say that you know keep researching for years and you do not get into action that also is not possible it's a fine line you need to put in your research see what's working what's not working if the market has rejected something if it's a service if it's a product whatever you know you need to do your research see where you stand who are your competitors you know right. uh, probably do some mystery shopping 
find out their pricing see what what you can deliver what pricing you can give what's the quality you can give so all those is homework definitely yeah that that i think uh, these things are definitely important awesome but everything that you say i feel your bias towards action get into it do it fail fast learn from it move on right those are the things so amazing skills and amazing attribute of an entrepreneur it clearly tells a lot about you a uh, couple of other things so r- now as you've mentioned that we should solve a pain pain area or or a problem so and that has kind of become a boom for everybody right anybody wants to and people are going around solving every goddamn problem using an app right oh. now in this in this world where everybody is an entrepreneur everybody is solving one or the other problem so this would apply to me also how do we find that niche uh and sometimes we feel we are a copycat because probably someone else is already doing it should i do this uh should i also do this the also is a keyword so what's your take on it well there is a quote i don't remember who said this but you know uh, no you know it's like copy wise ideas shamelessly somebody told that very very popular do not train the you know uh, uh, it's okay to do that see the thing is as i said ravi you know it's not easy to find the next facebook or google you cannot be the larry page or the sergey bin always you know right uh, and that is okay you know oh my god i couldn't find a google my life is gone you you that's fine <laughs> you know uh, so i i feel that there could be so many products and services that probably do exist already that's okay can you make it better right that's what i feel uh, do not get uh, oh my god this already exists in the market so what can you give a better quality at a better pricing you know why because you know again this is something probably i, I know many of your questions this this is going to be the same answer i might give Uh, uh it's only one thing you got to be honest with what you're giving what what are you delivering if you're promising x are you giving x or 1 minus x are you are you giving them what they wanted or something lesser than that or something uh-huh. more than that if you go to a normal you know you know a, a normal what could i say a, a, a lunch place where they have thali meals uh-huh. and you say that okay this thali meals they have curd and some gulab jamun and a laddu also extra okay wow that thali meal only laddu okay that's the value for money mm-hmm. do, uh, do you say I'm, i'm just putting it as an a, a very common analogy but you you getting some other extra value for the money that you're paying at the next shop where you get the laddu the jalebi and the gulab jamun gulab the shop is only giving you laddu that's a value add you know and they both are giving thalis right so thalis awesome. Okay. So that's sometimes not every time, but but many times the value add also matters. When the comp when when a customer is looking at you, what am I getting? I'm paying the same price or maybe higher, whatever. What what are the value adds I'm getting? Because customers, including us, we are, we are all spoiled by choices. We have True. so many choices. You just Google for anything, you get it. Yeah, you know, yeah. you find it. So we are all spoiled by choices, including our own customers. so what what can you do is this a is is it that you 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 know you achieve lean six sigma quality standards for your uh, you know delivery or is there is some some beautiful procedure for value added services in your company it could be anything you need to see what you're offering and and come up with something it 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 can be something for the next door company it, it may not be the same for you you need to probably sit down and uh, do the business for a year and maybe figure out later okay you know what let's do this and make it better yeah so the other day i was speaking with someone else couple of thoughts from that discussion is like location plays a vital role when you're mm-hmm. starting up mm-hmm. uh do you believe in that <laughs> well uh, honestly ravi uh <laughs> if it was a restaurant which i've always wanted to if it's a restaurant once upon a time before it's it's pre zomato era pre zomato and swiggy era I would say location, location, location are the three things you need to be bothered about. Or you know, opening a restaurant. Okay. But today, you know, you don't care. You just look at the ratings and everything and the feedback. And even if it is one hour away, 
even you if it is at at the wrong the end of the city you just order it so why it it's quality it's quality and then branding and all the branding comes later branding can happen you have the money you you can spend it on branding it will happen are you keeping the promise are you delivering the quality that a customer because customers are not fool they'll have once from you they know they have they have one chart samosa from you they have had hundreds of chart samosas from other other places they know their taste sure. buds do sure. remember that this guy chart samosa is something else true you cannot beat true. it true. yeah that's what my take is so it's location i don't know again it's business centric uh, honestly ravi a lot of businesses can run very easily online these days mm-hmm. you know especially e-commerce and what not most of it uh, even even for hotel business it's online delivery but there are many businesses which like let's say you you take a spa you cannot it take online spa services if somebody you need to have a facial you yeah. need to go there you know you, 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 you that's you location to. location location you know <laughs> are you in the you know a prominent place of a city or are you in a buzzing place with corona and the recent pandemic time which we are talking unfortunately the location businesses are extinct or almost almost yes almost there is no event there is no hospitality there is no hotel industry there is no almost everything is extinct whatever can go on online is going good true So and that's where that's where I I was debating that uh, businesses have become location agnostic now. I mean, it yeah. really doesn't depend that you have to open your shop in front of the customer's face. But okay. as you've said, yes, there are certain businesses that needs that. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it it will definitely depend based on the business that they are kind of starting up. The right. I think one last question that I have and it's an important one for my perspective is that now now there is a concept called as icp ideal customer profile and i don't know if back in 2006 you had some kind of a concept like that but i would want to kind of hear out from you about your journey your story on getting your first customer first question first i never had any ideal customer profile if you know i'll i'll go you know i'll the first 6 months it was not just online gaming we also were playing lot of snooker because we did not have enough work to be honest so we were like any customer could be ideal for us what do you want that's what you know honestly you know how we started out it 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 may it may not be same for everyone but we were just hungry for work when then something to start on uh, uh, my journey is is that's how we started you know 2006 in a humble place two to by 2008 we got some projects from us and and the clients were quite happy with what we are delivering and 2008 end we got into a proper it park uh, uh, with a 2000 square feet office space at par with uh, awesome. international standards uh, you know we had infosys and and all the other uh, big boys you know uh, in the neighbor so you can empl- imagine Amazing. our employees would miss those facilities so we didn't have a choice but cut down our profit and give them their free coffee you know yeah. uh, what i mean so it's uh, not just free coffee but samosas and uh, everything so it's a, yeah. so uh, that that's the whole thing you know uh, that's how we started off but eventually uh, you need to be persistent to be ravi since your last question whoever is listening to this whether you started out long back or you're starting to now or maybe you're considering persistence is key you need to keep going at it at it at it it will happen as far as you are convinced that i did my best then you can go to sleep if you if you did not you will be like shit man yesterday went for a waste you know True. i need to do something better that's how this works and i honestly i believe i am uh, this per- particular point what i'm making is a very personal thing being the ceo of a company i have a choice to spend almost 24 hours or 18 hours in this company and this company can grow this much times it's all about stats but trust me not not for the beginners okay this is at right now i'm i'm like almost 15 years this company is 15 years old as we speak you know okay. uh, we are into 2021 i started around 2006 so today uh, i'm dif- uh, lo- looking at shifting gears but honestly it depends on an entrepreneur what he or she wants to achieve well. so i wasn't you know uh, <laughs> too ambitious that oh my god by 2008 i got to be at 3 million 2010 i got to be at 50 million no i did not chart that i did have i did have that 
some kind of a business plan in mind but uh, uh, nothing to stress me out i didn't want want to die of bp or sugar or diabetes i wanted to have a good work life balance i think it has slowed me down ravi i could have been, i could have grown bigger but that's okay i really don't complain i'm fine especially with covid and everything around me i'm like very glad whatever i did and uh, yeah i don't know that this I'm, I'm, kind I'm of asleep. instills this instills a lot of confidence in me and the process as well right i i'm a heavily uh, enthusiast or evangelist of work life balance and <laughs> okay. there have been people talking about it that you got to work 18 19 hours when you're starting up i, and, I don't think so and i'm like no i mean if you can't do your work in 9 hours then basically you're not able to do that work you're not able to time it well exactly. because more than that in a day you kind of stretching yourself and you're just going at the same job again and again when people equate success uh with money title society and all of that versus the calmness and happiness that i can see on your face right now i think this is priceless uh no matter how much money car or whatever one can have but <laughs> if they have this much uh calmness and and comfort and time for friends yeah. what else you want i i totally agree with you ravi i mean i don't know how you notice the calmness and whatever but it's pretty recent okay it has uh, a lot to do with some of my spiritual stuff you know uh, again i discovered it as a vet not that when i started out as an entrepreneur i was a very restless guy i was oh my god this happened every you know oh my god i missed that but oh. so it was all over the place everything happens you know it's just not me for every one and at a stage you you kind of realize what's important how much time you can you, now i'm quite i know what it exactly so yes i knew that if i work 24 hours 18 19 70 hours the revenues would multiply accordingly but it was just my personal choice ravi that i'm okay you know i had a swift you know maruti suzuki swift when i you know uh, probably and i was earning from my own company around 30000 bucks per month so i could afford only that much loan for a maruti swift later on i grew the company there were a lot of factors a lot of hard work went to it and 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 then uh, one of my dreams that i achieved you know which i which yep. everybody around me were against to be honest okay <laughs> being, a, being a middle middle class guy it's a sin to dream an audi for yourself you know uh, amazing like my, my my parents told me that you better go for a flat you will better yeah. get a flat for that it's a, <laughs> so <laughs> as the honest money i was quite adamant about my dreams that i want to get my hands on that wheel drive that car make it own it was just a dream awesome. i just did not want to I knew that I was I mean according to my parents and some of my friends I was making a foolish mistake ki 30 40 lakh ka apartment aa jata hai bhai tu gaadi le raha hai you know what's wrong with you to be honest they all spat at me mm-hmm. I'm very happy and content that now I know what an Audi is that's okay big deal awesome awesome you know I, I, uh, that's what it is I I slowed down my growth it again you can decide how your growth want to be i can now crib that oh my god ravi you know what life sucks i don't have a ferrari man i love that car <laughs> you know what so yeah that that you choose that true, you true. you be grateful for what you have till now true, true. keep working if it didn't happen it's okay try again awesome. that's what my mantra is rather than cribbing oh my god lot of people keep breaking their head i didn't did happen see life is designed to go wrong is what i understood with all my experience <laughs> you know i was never a great student you know it ravi i was just neither was I. <laughs> i was just neither was i was i better okay i was just hanging around at tuition looking at the pretty girls in tuition classes i was just hanging around you know oh yeah okay kalyani miss you know she was an awesome teacher we we we, we had a good time that's it i was never i mean all the toppers in my class your class they were there but you know uh, i'm those days i yes i i did not have no much about life but higher pony ra apne se i don't know what's wrong with me but today i'm okay i'm at peace honestly i'm like theek hai it's okay awesome they are all doing fine i'm also okay in my space true you know true. no i i could you know uh, uh, richard branson is going to space uh, jeff bezos is going to space i would love to go to space you would also love to go we all would love <laughs> you know that doesn't matter so true we will try but if it couldn't that's okay whatever we uh, time we have or not 
let's true, take both true, true. i mean we'll I mean. not we'll not waste our uh, present because of yeah. dreaming of that right yes that's that's a goal right that's a goal but i'm not going to spoil everything that i have today exactly. you know enjoy what i have and probably <laughs> if i get there i'll enjoy that too that's very important it's yeah. it's, it's it's not a totally an entrepreneurial talk because you know i know there are interviews where i you know a uh, uh, video clips where i you know uh, i remember my biology i wouldn't want to name him you know i remember today i i can go against his concept but he's one of the best biology teachers you have also known because yeah, he's yeah, from yeah. our school i am not naming him so disturbing elements and the compounds he told me if you are in 10th standard you need to study for 10 hours if you are in 11th you need to study for 11 hours 12 means 12 hours trust me ravi he was telling that genuinely to motivate me but that would <laughs> motivate me a lot <laughs> but uh, you know all respect to him you know that that subject was very good he was interesting but that concept did not work with me i believe in smart work sure. and and that works a lot and yeah just go ahead uh, do not have fear very important fear uh, yeah this is what i want to end with you know if you fear you're done man because that's the biggest disease i personally think you know that is stopping you from aise karenge to waisa hoga waisa hoga to aisa hoga what if what if the what ifs and the what about trees are screwing your life more than the drinks that you are having true true yeah i mean that, uh, that's that's a very vital point of what ifs so we should just remove what ifs probably you'd see uh, a lot of what else i will be removing <laughs> sidelining and then moving forward but yeah this oh, has man. been an amazing discussion pratish so i mean i am sure people would love it uh, we'll see some love come through but uh, <laughs> i'll keep you posted as to how it's doing in terms of uh, okay. how people are responding to it and uh, i'm very thankful that you've taken time out of your busy schedule and uh, oh, sp- spoken with me and and shared your thoughts around these topics that we have discussed it's yeah. been an amazing time well ravi thank you so much for having me you know uh, i mean it's as i said uh, you know while we started this is like a special you know interview where my one of my co- the schoolmates is interviewing me you know i'm going to show it to my friends also after this you know what dude this is what you know it's just a feel good <laughs> fact you know nothing yep. nothing you know uh, offensive or nothing nothing hard thing but yeah it's very special thank you so much and i i hope that you know i just shared my bits and uh, pieces of my experience in last 15 years of entrepreneurship i hope that helps people and uh, anytime please reach out I'm all here. It's all locked down in Corona times. Always ready to help. Please let me know. Sure. <laughs> And thank awesome. you for having me. Awesome. Thank you so Only much, Prish. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.